Welcome back. I'm Josh Robertson. It is 6.30 on your Super Bowl Sunday, and we've also got a lot of parades on tap today throughout our region. So let's get over to Hannah Gard with a look at your weather authority forecast, and I'm loving this one, Hannah. Yes, I have some good news today. It was a dreary day yesterday. It's going to be much better. We're already not seeing any clouds in the sky as we're watching that sun start to come up there. It's going to be a pretty nice day. Now, it is starting off very chilly. If you're headed out the door anytime soon, you're still going to want to grab a jacket. We're cooler than yesterday morning, even. We're in the 40s across the board. Humidity not bad, but we're seeing those northwesterly winds continue. It was very gusty and breezy last night, so they have lightened up a little bit, but it's still feeling very chilly out there. It's making the entire region very, very cool. We're on the back end of an upper-level low-pressure system there, so we're still getting that northerly wind. Most of us feeling cooler than this time yesterday. So chilly start, but it's going to warm up throughout the day today. Yesterday, we were sticking around the 40s through much of the day once that rain came in. Now, we're going to get well into the 50s. So with that sunshine, it's going to feel a lot warmer. We'll still have that cool breeze, but a better day in store. Now, by the time we get to the evening, later in the Super Bowl, we're going to be back down into those low 50s after the game. So if you're headed out... Later tonight, if you have those evening plans, you'll still want to bring a jacket or something to layer up because it's going to be pretty chilly by the time we get to the late evening hours. Still seeing those cool temperatures tomorrow morning. So here's that low pressure system we were tracking yesterday. Now moving off to the east, you can really see that swirl there. We had the back end of this low stuck over us throughout the day yesterday. That's why we were seeing all that moisture where you have those dark colors. That means we have moisture in the atmosphere. Now all that's moving out to the east, which is good news. We're getting a little bit of upper-level moisture coming in from the west, so that means we could see some cloud cover, but I don't think we're going to see any sort of rainfall until the latter parts of this week. But you can see where we're starting to get some high-pressure building. That's what we call a ridge over Texas right now, and that's going to give us nice and dry conditions over the next couple of days, and then it's going to start to warm us up as it moves towards the east. Now, temperatures still chilly along the entire area on the Gulf there. We're in the 40s for most of us, 30s up to the north, but it's going to be a warmer day. Monday is going to be much warmer. That high pressure moves over us, and then we're going to see a warm front pulling up towards the north throughout the day Tuesday. That's really going to hike those temperatures well up into the 70s. That humidity as well, and then we're going to have to watch for some storms forming there. Now, I think that these storms, more general thunderstorms, we're not too worried about that severe threat. Tuesday, that front kind of stalls out, but we are going to watch for that. Tomorrow morning, we have to watch for frost as well. When we get to midweek, where we get that stormy pattern, we're not going to worry about that. And then those temperatures are going to drop off again after we see a system move through Thursday. We'll be back down to that frost possible. We even could see maybe near light freeze criteria for the North Shore on Saturday morning. So for next weekend and the parades this week, Thursday it will be pretty warm and then we'll flip to that cooler pattern again. We'll be in the 50s Friday and Saturday. That moisture is going to fall midweek. So we're looking at Tuesday, Wednesday, we see that moisture surge and it kind of sticks around Wednesday when that boundary stalls out. Thursday is going to be a pretty wet day. We have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. We're looking at a risk for strong to severe storms already. So we are going to have to watch for Thursday's forecast. But by the weekend, things are going to start to dry up. So next weekend's parades looking okay. We might have to watch for Thursday, though. 60% chance for rain. That's going to be the highest chance this week. It's also including that storm threat. So let's play that out. We have high pressure into the start of the week. That's going to keep us warm. Here comes that first system. We might see some storms in there, but by the time it gets to us, it kind of falls apart, and we see that rain lingering. And then here comes that storm threat Thursday. We'll see that system move through, and that's going to usher in some more cold air just in time for next weekend and those parades. So it's going to be chilly once again. Prepare for that. And here's that severe threat that we're outlining. Slight risk includes the North Shore already, so make sure you're just keeping that in mind as we go throughout this week. And we do have parades on Thursday that we have to plan for as well. So we might have some issues with those storms. We'll continue to watch that, but it looks like next weekend will be dry and nice like today. Yes. It's going to be a beautiful day to get out there if right. you're tailgating, mm -hmm. parades, lots of stuff going on today. Super Bowl as well. And, I mean, look, you're going to see a lot of people out there today 
maybe they go away with the Mardi Gras colors. You might see people walking around in jerseys today just uh, enjoying the parades. Um, but it's just going to be a lot of stuff going on today, so it's great that we have this forecast. Hey, at least the Eagles have green. That's good. Yeah, there you go. They got green. I mean, and we got golden. That's true. Chiefs, too. That's true. So there you go. You got your Mardi Gras colors already set up with your jerseys. All right, thank you very much there. Hannah, we'll